Merge VR is an augmented reality and virtual reality company, so we do both hardware and software products. Well, first of all, with the headsets themselves, they're very unique. We actually have several patents on them, and a lot of it has to do with the material that we've chosen, that it's a high-end foam formulation, which is just incredibly comfortable. It's the most comfortable headset in the entire industry, but it also has a, a number of important functional advantages. So, uh, the one is the hygiene. Uh, it's a closed cell foam formulation, so you can think of it as like the skin of a yoga mat or a wrestling mat, where it's impervious to sweat, makeup, contaminants, things like that. It's also, uh, it's it's able to flex out to fit a lot of different shapes of faces. Uh, but some other things about it beyond the material is uh, it's high-end optics, it's uh, high-end inputs, so it's uh, just a high-quality uh, cardboard compatible headset. Uh, for something like this, for our headset, you're really talking about a good phone made in the last two years, uh, whether it's iPhone or Android. Uh, say the vast majority of phones sold in the last two years will work as long as it has a gyroscope. That's typically what we've run into if someone has a very inexpensive Android phone sometimes. It doesn't have that gyroscope, but most of the time it uh, works just fine. Yeah, so we're really excited. We actually have uh, three big announcements. Uh, probably the biggest thing, as it turns out, is our Holocube. And you can think about this as an, uh, the world's first holographic object. It's an AR toy. And uh, we're kind of aiming more and more toward the younger user and everything that we do. And that includes this uh, particular object that uh, this is a prototype that we're showing off right now but we expect to have it out in uh, say Q2 late Q2 the second thing is we're revealing uh, the latest prototype of our universal motion sensing controller so uh, again this is something that works with a lot of different phones it works with all of those phones that I mentioned before so uh, but in addition to the phones we also have it working with web platforms such as web VR uh, because we do think that the ultimate fate of virtual reality is going to be open standards rather than these walled gardens that people are trying to build and then the third announcement is on the headset itself. We've become pretty famous for our purple foam headsets, but we've released now a, a lot of other colors that are available. The thinking behind that is we're not gadget creators, we're consumer product makers. And when we think about what goes into a consumer product for the broad masses, they don't want to look like they're strapping a computer to their face. You know, we see this as even somewhat of a fashion item that uh, we want it to be accessible, not only from a price standpoint, but even from something that's not intimidating, you know, to put on your face. And we just find that, hey, everyone has their own preferences in terms of what color they would like and we'd like to meet those preferences but we want it to be something that's kind of fun and open casual fun experiences